The chief of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, has made a last-ditch effort to try to keep Greece from leaving the euro. He said a bit earlier on that the creditors' terms are not, quote, stupid austerity, end quote, and that the people should not commit suicide out of fear of death, as he put it, in the upcoming referendum on those terms on July the 5th. Mr Juncker also repeatedly pointed out that he's not the one to blame for putting the country on the brink of financial ruin. I tried again and again. I have done everything that can be done by myself. I have never been short of determination or patience. I have explored all the possibilities to accommodate the Greek concerns. All right, well, let's get the latest. Go to uh, our Europe correspondent in Berlin, Peter Oliver, uh, for more reaction on how Europe's reacting and where Greece is going to go next. Hi, Pete. Um, <laughs> understatement to say, have the jitters started? It's, of course, uh, less than a day, now, just a matter of hours, before Greece has got to pay out a lot of money. The question is, will it, won't it? Where will it lead it? Well, there's great anxiousness really across the European leaders and that was, um, well, that was epitomised by Jean-Claude Juncker. The European Commission president is pretty much staring down the barrel of his life's work, the euro, uh, crumbling in front of him. Um, he said that, oh, we've do I've done everything possible, that the uh, criticism levelled against me hasn't been justified. He also said that uh, the criticism levelled against the Eurogroup president uh, during Dijsselbloem as well was unjustified that they were doing everything possible. They had done everything possible. He also suggested the door was, it could be still open for Greece, but said he, he didn't have any new proposals to put forward just yet. Um, he did come across as clearly wounded by the calling of this referendum on whether Greece will accept uh, proposals from the institutions. And he again accused Alexis Tsipras, the, the Greek prime minister, of lying to his people, misleading them on what the euro group was actually putting forward and what the creditors have been putting forward. But we are looking at a referendum and what could come out of that. Well, if Greece says no, well, well, if it has to leave the euro, there is no mechanism in place for that. And we've been hearing from European leaders who are calling on the Greek people to show unity and solidarity with the rest of the single currency nations. None of us knows the consequences of a Greek exit from the eurozone neither politically nor economically. So we should do everything to ensure Greece stays in the Eurozone. Well, the phrase used by Jean-Claude Juncker calling on the Greek people not to commit suicide for fear of death, well, that is really being picked up by media, state, media organizations all around the world and by uh, people who have been watching the Greek crisis because what it looks like we're going to have from that referendum could be a vote on whether Greece not just leaves the Eurozone, but potentially leaves Europe. Yeah, real crunch time in the next couple of days, isn't it? All right, Peter, thanks for the update there, our Europe correspondent. Well, let's now uh, head to Athens there. The people anxiously following the news from Brussels, RTs. Harry, fear is in the Greek capital too. Harry, understatement to say a, a desperate start to the week for the Greek people? I guess not. Indeed, it is a bank holiday today here in Greece to try to stem this deepening financial crisis now five years long. There are limits on cash withdrawals, 60 euros per bank card per day. The banks are set to reopen on July 7th. That's two days after the July 5th date when Greeks will go to the polls at this snap referendum to vote on whether or not to accept the Troika's bailout conditions. Now, tomorrow, there uh, is this IMF payment due, 1.5 billion euro, uh, among 4 billion euro due to Greeks' creditors by the end of this month. There are fears that Greece will default. And some analysts have even been saying that a Grexit is now inevitable. Others saying, at the very least, there will be seismic implications and effects for the Eurozone. Now, speaking to Athenians on the streets of Greece today, there is, of course, unsurprisingly, much uncertainty and also division about this whole situation, about the financial plight ordinary families are facing, and also about how individuals will vote on Sunday at the referendum. But certainly what's clear is that the most passionate individuals are the ones with anger for Europe. Just listen to this. It's a tragedy, these people governing Europe. Finally, someone's saying no to them, saying we're going to fight. Whether we succeed or not, I don't know, but we are resisting. Greece has always had and always will have dignity.
To have growth, we have to exit the euro. It's clear that if we delay the exit, the situation's going to get worse. Why not exit? We're not dead yet. Do they want to take everything from us? Unprecedented moments here in Athens for Greece. Certainly unknown unknowns as implications for the Greek economy, for the Eurozone and for Europe itself. We're expecting demonstrations here tonight, a mass rally saying no to austerity, called, of course, by the ruling Syriza party.